Sometimes you sculpt a model inside ZBrush and then you want to animate it. But somehow either it is dynamished or decimated. So you don't have that animation like topology. You don't have that topology which can be used for animation purposes. So one way of doing the topology, retopology, is through the uh, Z remesher. And uh, the other way is to do with the Z modeler tool. So let's see how we can do uh, repoto uh, like topology with the Z modeler tool. So first thing uh, what I need over here is to create a plane and place it somewhere on the screen. So let me turn off my uh, like uh, polyframe here. I will go to the sub tool and then I will go to append and take a plane 3D here. And what I will do at this stage is that I will just press R over here. Okay. Scale it down. Oops. I have to be on the plane layer. Scale it down. Move it. And then scale it down a bit more. Now you will see that there are uh, like you know it have a lot of uh, polygons over here. So what I will do here is that I will go to my Z D measure, turn off its uh, target polygon count to extremely zero and Z D mesh it. And keep on doing that until I get less number okay or simple what I will do here is that uh, I will go to my Z model tool uh, BZM I will hover over polygons here uh, first of all I will select all of this and spacebar and then Q mesh is there already. So what I can do here is that I will go choose delete and it will delete all of it and then simple i will move back to my normal transpose okay okay with this one i will try to move this to the center by pressing the shift key here and try to move it where i will reach to something like this, uh, in the middle of this okay and then I will scale it up. Now, in this way, I'm sure that there is only one, uh, like, you know, like there is uh, just, it's a one face. And then uh, one other thing I can do is, is that I can go to my uh, geometry here and then position. Let's make the x and y zero okay and also z is let's see okay now for a moment i will just turn off this uh To make sure everything is in center. Now it looks everything is in the center. I will turn back on. Now I will go back to my uh, Z modeler to BZM. Now one thing I need to do at this stage is that I will divide this into 
uh, two. Okay, so I will just go go to uh, like edge. Okay, insert single. Okay, that's fine. And it should be in the center, I think. Or you know what? The best thing is just go to the polygon action. And then what I can do here is that I can just start working on it. Let's let's do that. Okay, because uh, I don't want to make it complicated for you. So you have this here. Now, what I need to turn on this uh, right now is that I have to go to my geometry here, dynamic subdivision here, turn this on, okay, smoothness, I don't want anything here, just thickness a bit, I will give it so that I can see from both sides, that's all I want, because this thickness is a fake thickness, it's not like something just like that. Uh, now, I will go to my uh, face and set it to do nothing. I will go to my edge and the edge I will go to extrude and in the extrude I will keep this one here uh, the edge edge loop and after that I will go over here now snap to surface now what it will do is that if I will take any one of my edge here it will snap to surface just like this okay so as you can see, if I move, it snaps. Let me undo that because I have to do some other stuff. So I will go to the point. In the point, I will choose brush by uh, radius. Okay. Move brush by radius and again, snap to surface. So I can take this and then I can snap it to the surface. Let me turn on my symmetry here. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me move this one and set it up because this is not set up. I just want to set it up to the nose. And then from there, I will start working. Okay, now VZM. Now we are all set up. Now, if I will extrude, so whatever I will extrude will automatically, uh, you know, snap with the surface. And it will stay with that surface there till I will keep on doing this. So this is quite a nice way you can see that to create a good uh, like a polygon or like a topology here so you just have to find a nice way of doing topology just keep on moving that and also I can move the points so that it will stick there on the surface okay if you want more thickness you can give it more thickness so that you can see the result Okay, so I think this is better. Now, if I keep on moving, just notice it is sticking to the surface. Okay, and what it's doing is that it is just extruding, and uh, at the same time, what it is doing is that if I extrude this point, if I go over there, okay, and you can see there is a gap, but if I move closer to the point, it will snap. And it will weld directly so very good way of doing this and then you know you can keep on going I'm just doing I'm not doing a good topology here just I'm showing you the example so you know this is how you can move it around and create your own topology the way you want it inside the uh, ZBrush very quickly so points you can move 
you can snap the points it will weld together and so many other things you can do with it now sometimes what happens suppose uh, I want to create a long strip over here like you know just like this and when I do that it does not give me a lot of points here it gives me just few points so uh, like few uh, edges it's like it's like single one long strip it's not giving me uh, like uh, edges in between so for that purpose what I can do here is that I can just go to my uh, edge okay and then i can go to the row si row size here and number of rows row size i can just uh, in uh, like you know uh increase this number of rows uh, i will just go to the number of rows and it's five so if i will make now so you can see that it's making five polygons very quickly if i go here five so if i want to change go back here single row now i will make a single row and as soon i will go to this point it snaps and weld no matter what you do it will always keep it quads so you will have a nice topology basically you have to follow a topology just right just right now i'm just demonstrating i'm not creating something like really good here okay So don't worry if you are on the points, points will definitely snap. Like suppose if I will move uh, here and now you can see that it snaps to this point. And now this point is alone, this point is alone. So if I will take this point, okay, and bring it down next to this, it snaps and it becomes one. And you can move this one wherever you want later on. So it's 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 a really good way to do that. Now, uh, one thing I want to show here, which is quite a new feature and no, uh, not so many uh, people are currently using it. Uh, suppose if we go here, let's uh, change this uh, face model to ins uh, the polygon actions to inset instead of none. And if I make something like a selection like this, okay. Let me do one thing. Let me deselect. Okay, so now I will go here. I will do the inset. Okay, now you will notice that. Uh, oops. It's have to be inset. Okay. Okay, inset is there, single poly, and uh, modifies is standard. Now, if I will try to inset it, so you can see while I'm insetting, it's it is moving my vertices a little bit up and down so there is no equal distance here so one thing has been added here if i will go and it's called equidistance instead of standard if i will use equidistance what it will do is that if i will now try to inset it it will start creating some extra polygons or other thing and it will cre uh, keep everything on the surface and it will slide that edge the, those uh, uh, borders here it will not resurface anything it will just slide it okay just like it is sliding it without uh, changing its distance or anything so that is quite useful sometimes and it works pretty good so this is if you want to read like topology this with the z modeler so you can do that Otherwise, check the Z remesher. So Z remesher is all, also a one good uh, method of for uh, retopologizing your, uh, you know, uh, decimated or dynameshed object which you cannot animate. So you can retopology through Z modeler or with a Z remesher to make it animatable. So guys, if you have enjoyed my videos, please uh, click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorial, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, please uh, 
I will really, really appreciate if you will do that. So thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself uh, till we meet for the next lesson. Thank you.